Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Torin. Thanks for stopping by to check out my very first review. Uh, so the COVID restrictions are slightly loosening here in WA. Um, so I was able to get down to Aldi to grab these special markers, alcohol markers, they were on special. So I thought that was an absolute bargain. So I bought all three. Um, I got the bright palette, the pastel palette and the gray palette. And I'm going to compare them to some Cop Copic markers that my friend has lent me. Thank you very much, Julie. Um, and my Ohuhu markers that I use all the time. So I wanted to draw something really bright and fun. Um, I love drawing fashion illustrations, so I thought I'd make it a very springful picture. And while reviewing the markers and seeing how they actually stand up against Copic, let's find out. All right. So there was a deal on at Aldi for these marker packs by Creative PL. I thought I'd buy all three because individually they were $9.99 each. So you've got a pastels pack with these colours inside, a brights pack and a greys tones, grey scale pack. So I'm going to be swatching them all out and then I'll be reviewing them and seeing what I think. Little side note, I love these containers. They're so much easier to get in than the fabric ones that I have for Ohu. And you can also use this as like a second pot to store things in. Ooh, I love that color. That is nice, peacock green. And who doesn't love peacocks? Ooh, look at the vibrant. Now for the greys. Colourless blender. I'm not going to swash that. So that's all our swatches made. Now up here I'm showing you my swatches for the Copic markers that I have. Um, and I've already got my Ohuhu swatches here. And then I've just made the swatches from the new Aldi Creative PL markers. And so now I want to try and draw something with them and stand up next to Copics. So I've started with a sketch of three very confident looking fashionistas who are at the flower market. And then I'm just sketching out with my waterproof fine liner over them all, ready to put on the color. Okay, so now it's time to color, and I think I'm going to color the center girl in the Copic markers, and basically using these two dividers here as where the Copics will end. So the whole body of her, and then some background pieces in the Copic markers. And then the side I'm going to do the Aldi markers, and this one will be the Ohuhus. So what I did to choose the colors is I went through every one of the Aldi's that I'd bought and found the closest match in the Copics and the Ohuhu's so that at least I've got a pretty close comparison between colors. And I thought it might make the overall piece look a little bit nicer too if I'm at least got the same colors um, across the artwork. So I've chosen to go with the bright colors for the females and then leave the pastels mainly for the flowers in the background and the grays as well. Um, mainly because I wanted them to be the focus and that's where you really see um, a lot of the difference with the markers depending on how vivid the colour is and how easy they blend. Now obviously Copics are known to be the best and I think the main thing for that is because of the brush nib. It's just amazing to blend, you get really smooth lines and they just feel really nice and that's why I find that these are really really hard to beat. I'm just going to write a little note for me down here saying Copic or Copic. Yeah, now we'll draw who over here. Oh, who, who. And then we'll do Creative PL over here, which I believe is Aldo's own brand. At least one good thing with these bullet nibs is I feel like I can get a little bit closer to my detail. When I've lifted 
the darker color underneath. It went all mottled. I don't know if that's the proper word. It went all spotty and kind of lifted in patches, which isn't ideal. And I'm pretty sure that when you lift a Copic marker, it doesn't do that. So yeah, so there's quite a lot of blue in that middle picture. So it's good to have a good comparison to that by adding blue into this picture and use that for the cord into her jewelry. This girl is so colored. Oozing confidence, isn't she? And give her the brown eyes. Our ohuhu section is done. Now to onto the creative one. So first of all, absolutely adore this color. Love it. The nib is a little bit larger than the ohuhu nib, which in some cases can be a benefit. All right, so the first lay down is kind of streaky. So I'll come back over it and I'll go the other way. I'll see if that helps to hide it. Hasn't done too bad a job. Whoa, this is the most brilliant blue ever. I don't know if I'm looking into it too much, but I feel like it's bleeding a little bit out of the edges. And this is, you know, proper marker paper. And the other markers didn't do this. I don't know why that would be happening. I'm liking how this color's going down. It's very smooth. Not streaky. Oh, look how vibrant it is. Mm. Wouldn't exactly call this vivid. It doesn't look at all like the cap, but the other two caps have been pretty accurate, I think. Oh, yeah, you can see the bleeding happening at the edges where the two colors are meeting. I think what that means is these aren't drying as quickly as the others. So I might have to be careful when laying down my color. It's probably bang on with that one from Copic. Right. I just want to see how these blend together. If I was to just go over it, that pink. Maybe up a little bit with the red. Down a little bit with the pink. Can get a soft graduation gradient. It's not too bad, but definitely not as soft as what you can achieve with the Copix. So I'm going to use the powder pink marker for this skin. It's the only skin tone that I've really got in this set. This is going on quite nice. Now for the hair. Love, love, love this color green. And there we go. So what do I think of the Aldi markers? I think for a beginner, they are definitely worth trying. Um, they don't have that brush nib, but I feel that that's really the main reason that Copic wins every time because of that nib and the fact that you can refill them and they just blend so beautifully. Um, but yeah, I, I really would rate these Aldi markers and the colors are awesome. So I'd say yay for Aldi or Creative PL and also yay for my Ohuhus. Um, I can't go past them either. So I can't wait to get more brush markers in the future. But for now, I'm going to keep playing with these markers regularly. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful in some way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.